Projects tend to have lots of different types of documents from the bit of charter to the racy matrix, change requests, issues logs, and so on. So teams need to be able to find these documents, make changes or edits, and share their updates for feedback very quickly, especially when working remotely. Unfortunately, if you don't have one place to manage your documents, what happens is everybody's storing their files in their own way. So very quickly, you end up with multiple versions of the same file or someone can't access a really important document because it's stored on a local drive and that particular person is on vacation. So using SharePoint for project management is a great way to deal with these types of problems. You know, SharePoint is known for document management and it's really, really good for projects, especially when lots of people need access to files. So every project site in SharePoint has a document library, which you can think of as like a large folder on your desktop, but everybody has access to it. So with the SharePoint document library, you can do a few things like add, edit, delete, and download documents, share links to files instead of sharing documents using email attachments, co-edit a document in real time, which is very useful during a video call, uh, manage who has access to your files with permissions, and track the activity on a file, including the last modification. So I'm just going to show you how to use the SharePoint document library with our free template as an example. So here along the left, we have the quick launch menu, which has links to different parts of the project site. And here you can see a link to the document library. We also have our getting started tiles along the top. And the third tile is for the document library. So I'm just going to click here. So this is our library. It has all our files for the project so far. There are two ways that I can upload a new document. I can just click and drag the file to here and it will upload, or I could use new document, which will allow me to search for the document in the relevant folder or place on my local drive. Now, as you can see, there are no folders in this library. There are, there are no subfolders. So this is deliberate. Uh, if everybody on the team created their own folders and subfolders, it would be very difficult for people to know which files were stored where. So this way we can see all the files in one place and we can set up views using metadata or extra columns to make it easier to find information later on. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So we're just gonna take a quick look at how to manage the files here. So if you just click the three dots beside any of the documents, it opens a menu with various editing options. So I can check the properties here. I can change the name of the file, uh, what phase it's in and so on. I can check it out, which means nobody else can edit the document while I'm using it. I can start a workflow, perhaps to get approval or feedback on the document. And I can see who's shared with. So that's very useful if you want to remove somebody who's no longer on the project. I also get inf access to the same options here in the ribbon on the top. And just while we're here on this ribbon, you'll notice an option for alert me. So this would allow you to create an email alert to track any changes to a document. So if we take our project proposal, for example, you know, this should be finalized when the project starts. It shouldn't be changed. So you can set up an alert to get um, an email. As soon as that document is changed, you can go into the project site, check the changes. Maybe they're valid, maybe they're not. And if they're not valid, you can remove the changes or use version control to go back to the original version of the document. So another thing I mentioned um, a moment ago was views. So we don't have any folders in here, as I mentioned, We're using columns. So I've added a column here for project phase. Um, so this is mapped to the task list. So we have initiate, plan and set up, work the project, track and replan and close. And I also have put in the status of the document. So is it a working document? Is it something that's going to keep changing during the project? Is it finalized like our project proposal and it shouldn't change or is it up for review? So I've actually created a view here for status and I've put the filter for finalized. So if I just want to see the documents that are finalized and shouldn't be changed, I can do it this way. So it's very easy to create a view. So you just click into a library up here in the top ribbon and click create view and follow steps. I'll just show you how to modify this view as an example. So here is the name. I've clicked 
the columns that I want to display here. So it's not quite the same as the view of all the documents in the library. And here is where I've selected the status. So status is equal to finalized. And I could change this to status is equal to for review. Now if I click OK, then we'll see that has changed. So now I can just see the files that are outstanding and that are just for review. So if I just click create view, again, I'm just using the standard view and it's pretty much the same information. You just need to think about what filters I want to appear here. So for example, if you had added a column for the owner of the document and you just want to filter by that, you can do so. And that might be very useful. So each person in the team can see which files belong to them and so on. Lots of ways that you can create views to make it easier to find the files, which means you don't have to have lots and lots of folders in here. And at any time, you can just click all documents to see everything in one place. And that's it. That's a very quick run through of a basic SharePoint document library. As you can see, it's very quick and easy to use. It's ideal for projects because you've got all of your information in one place. So you shouldn't be rooting around for multiple versions of different files or checking who has made the latest update. Nothing like that. It's all here in one place, accessible at any time, no matter when or where your team are working.